Welcome back to another episode of Living With Flair. Stevie, Josh, Maui and Zara here. We hope you guys enjoyed last week's episode. If you missed it, we'll leave the link in the description below. Uh, this week we've been hanging out in a town called Seduna. Just getting some last minute things done before we hit the Nullarbor in a couple of days. We both got our booster shots yesterday because we need those in order to get across to WA. Um, we're not feeling too crash hot today, so hopefully we feel a bit better tomorrow. But we have just come down to a place called Port Lee Hunt Jetty. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it, but it's a pretty spectacular place. Um, I'll show you guys around. Pretty nice colours. Josh is out fishing on the jetty, of course, with the dogs. Don't know how much fishing they're getting done. Catching, I mean. Anyway, um, pretty nice place, but this is a little memorial for um, a, an 11 year old boy, Wade, who passed away in 1975 from a great white, great white shark attack. So, pretty sad, but because of that, they have built these shark nets here to swim in, which is pretty good. All right, so we've just come down to check out Josh and his fishing. Cool see, see how he's going. <laughs> Seaweed, eh? Pretty cool place, but eh? You can't really see too much, but over there's big sand dunes. And uh, Zara and Maui watching Josh fish as per usual. Thank you. <laughs> So this week's been very quiet for us. Um, we've had a fair bit of work to do. Stevie's just finished up her most recent eight week challenge. Seeing some pretty good results. Um, and she's probably gonna start a new one in a few weeks. So if you guys want more info on that, go ahead, follow her Instagram. That's where you'll see all the details. And I'll put the link in below. Uh, not much adventure content for you guys this week. So what I thought I would do is we'll run through a bit of the rest of the car build and our touring setup. We've already done the canopy um, in a previous video. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, again, I'll put the link in below for that one. You can go check it out. Uh, but yeah, let's have a bit of a look at the car and how it's all set up. I'll let you guys know before I get started. I'm not a massive car person, so I'm definitely no expert, um, but we'll run you through everything. And if you guys have any questions, pop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. But basically the whole build was done by Tactical Tours. Um, Jake there looked after us and basically told us kind of what we needed and guided us through everything. So yeah, let's run through it. Okay, so we'll start at the front and work our way back. So starting off the TJM Outback Steel Bull Bar. 
and we've partnered that with the TJM Torque Winch. Uh, haven't had to use the winch yet, hopefully we don't need to, but we're probably going to go off grid a little bit and most likely be solo, so just there to get us out of a sticky situation if need be. Um, full bar, partnered with the TJM side rails and side steps as well. And the other thing um, we've got at the front here is the Ultravision 140 watt LED driving lights. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, but yeah, pretty happy with those. Um, and we also went with the GME XRS Connect UHF radio and yeah, can't fault it. Come around this way. Um, fat bars, four inch snorkel. Uh, I love the sound of it. Stevie doesn't rate it, but <laughs> yeah, it purrs nicely. It's just loud and annoying. <laughs> Last thing uh, we'll run through at the front is, is the rims and the tyres. We chose the ROH crawlers and went with the two open country all terrains. Um, yeah, we heard good things about those and can't fault them, and they look nice. Up on top, we went with the Rhino rack platform. Um, plenty of space. We usually put our dive gear and doggy swag and all that, and the Max tracks up on there. Um, yeah, but plenty of room to put whatever we want up on that. We'll go through the battery setup as well, seeing as we didn't do that in the last run through video. Uh, but we went with the Red Arc Red Vision uh, battery manager system. Uh, we'd seen good things, it looks super easy to use, and we're super stoked we did because we absolutely love it. Uh, it's hooked up to a 200 amp hour lithium battery, and we've got a 150 watt Red Arc solar panel on the roof as well, and that basically keeps us topped up um everywhere we go uh so yeah let's have a look at the red vision system itself and show you guys just how easy it is to use so we've got our little display just inside the canopy here um you can control all your lights the 12 volt uh lights at the back uh fridges on and off and your inverter and air compressor uh runs you through your battery you can also go and check how much current you're drawing and how much the solar is bringing in um, so yeah super easy with that and we can access all this through the app on our phone as well so if we're up in the rooftop tent and we need to control any lights or turn anything on and off we can run that uh, we can do that through the phone also if you open up the red arc red vision app turn bluetooth on always helps And it'll basically come up with all your info there, so you can see your battery level, same kind of stuff, your current. And then you can control all of your lights, everything just from a press of a button there. So the last thing I'll chat to you guys about is the suspension. Obviously we're sitting pretty heavy having our whole lives packed into a car. Um, but Tactical Tour has fitted the level 3.5 ton GVM upgrade, uh, and that gives us yeah plenty of room to fit all of our gear so that's about everything in terms of the actual engine itself we've pretty much kept it stock standard and it's handling everything we've tried to put it through so far we did just put in a, a catch can and a pre-fuel filter just for a bit of cheap insurance um like i said guys if you do have any questions pop them in the comments below i'm no expert but i'll do my best to answer them and if you have any further questions or you want to know more about the car build itself uh you can get onto tactical tours um i'll put their link to their website in the comments below that's it for this week guys pretty keen to be making our way across the nullarbor tomorrow next time you see us we will be in wa and we cannot wait so i hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode if you did make sure you give the video a like subscribe to our channel and if you have any must-see places in wa make sure you leave them in the comments below for us to check out and we'll see you next week